Tonight a Chicago Catholic Church on the northwest side is opening its doors and its heart to the city's migrants. St. Bart's is the first church to do so under a partnership between the city and the Chicago Archdiocese to shelter migrant families. Mayor Johnson and other city leaders were there for the event. So was NBC5's Everett Cassidy. Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson and Cook County President Tony Preckwinkle gave a warm welcome to migrants staying at this new shelter at St. Bartholomew Catholic Church. The church, located in Chicago's Portage Park neighborhood, is the first of its kind intergovernmental and interfaith family shelter. We're going to do everything that in our power to bring people together, the workforce, county, city, state, the philanthropic community, the faith community, all of us are leaning in. In an agreement with the city of Chicago, Cook County, the Archdiocese of Chicago, and the Zakat Foundation, the new shelter comes at no cost to the city. We're hoping that we integrate these people as soon as possible into the community so that these people can work and contribute to our society. All of our families uh, were once in a similar situation. This event served as their official Welcome to Chicago party, complete with a warm meal. However, while many are welcoming these new neighbors with open arms, some in the neighborhood have many concerns. This woman shared her reservations but asked we not reveal her identity. I'm not opposed to immigrants coming in. I just think that they should take the proper channels and the avenues that are set in place uh, because we really don't know who's crossing these borders. These people are not being screened. They're coming in and I mean, anybody can have any type of ulterior motive. There is hesitation and I understand some of the hesitation, but during our meeting that we did a community meeting to propose this idea, we had an overwhelming positive response. The Archdiocese and Zakat Foundation tell me that there is no 60 day shelter limit here. Right now they have a six month agreement and we'll determine what happens next as that time approaches. In Portage Park, Evrod Casimir, NBC5 News. Our thanks to Evrod.